I am also an actor, but I, uh, I wish I was a film director, just in everyday life. So when someone was telling me a really boring story, I could just go, and cut. <laughs> I didn't finish. We got it! That's a wrap. That would come in handy. You come home late, your wife's like, where the hell were you? And cut. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. This time, you don't care where I was. <laughs> in fact, you're happy to see me. Let's try it topless. Action! <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> that guy's a jerk. I do have a wife. I got married. My wife changed her name. I know some women have a problem with that, but I wanted her to have my old girlfriend's name. <laughs> So, call me old-fashioned, but this fella does what the Bible tells him. The Bible doesn't say that at all. He's dumb as a rock. I don't think my wife's parents like me, though. Because apparently when you meet someone's mother, you're not supposed to hug her and go, Oh, yeah. This feels right. And if their dad's short, don't try and pick him up. Oh, you're like a little baby daddy. It's a baby daddy. Whee! <laughs> Strange. I do love being married. I, uh, I hated being single. You know? The worst is when you ask someone out and they turn you down. Because really what they're saying is, you know what, I don't even feel like eating a free meal around you. <laughs> you make me want to go on a diet. <laughs> it always goes back to food with him. <laughs> Sad. Show. Love my wife, but recently she has gotten very lazy, or as she describes it, pregnant. <laughs> I'm eight months pregnant. Doesn't mean you can't move those cinder blocks. <laughs> okay, he better be joking. <laughs> that ain't funny, fellow. <laughs> Pregnancy is an amazing sacrifice, isn't it? Occasionally my wife does complain, you know, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm cold, let me back inside. <laughs> Move those center blocks, I'll let you back in. A deal's a deal. We already have one daughter. I, uh, we did a home birth. If you're unfamiliar with that, that means you take the hundreds of years of medical knowledge and just throw that away. <laughs> and you wing it! Hey, I can't program a VCR. I'm here to help. Where would you like me to stand terrified? Because that will be my contribution. I did learn a lot, I tell you. I could never have a baby, because I don't have a uterus. <laughs> but even if I did have a uterus, I don't think I could do it, ladies. I don't think I could have sex with a man. <laughs> Unless he looked like me, then it would be hot. <laughs> Some Jim on Jim action. <laughs> brightness like you've never seen. <laughs> He's weird. I do love being a dad, though. People treat you differently when you're holding a newborn, especially in strip clubs. <laughs> hey, that was a trick joke, fella. It was trick one. Trick, 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 trick. I did nothing today. That's my favorite activity. I, uh, some other lazy people. There you go. I, I love doing nothing. You can't tell people you do nothing, though. They're like, we went, we went shopping today. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Oh, you could have come with us. I'd rather die. <laughs> That's why I love rainy days. You wake up, you're like, well, looks like I'm not doing crap today, huh? It's too bad. I was probably going to go kayaking. <laughs> climb a giant rock or something. But now I'll probably just nap. <laughs> you ever not go outside all day, and then when you finally do, you feel like you're exploring another planet? <laughs> oh, it is loud out here. The air moves and everything, huh? <laughs> and if you stay up late enough, there's no pressure to do anything. You're like, hmm, 3 a.m.? I'm not going to do laundry like a weirdo. I'm going to download porn like a normal person. <laughs> That's not normal at all. It is crazy how the internet and emails changed our lives. You ever get a handwritten letter in the mail today? You're like, what the hell? Has someone been kidnapped? <laughs> huh. I'm not open. It's probably filled with anthrax or something. 
And emails definitely made sending regular mail a chore. You're like, what, I stuck in an envelope and now I gotta go outside? What am I, a triathlete here? <laughs> work, 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 work. You ever have that friend that sends really long emails? You open them up, you feel like you got homework. <laughs> I can't read this dissertation now. I'm gonna keep that as new. <laughs> I never even read them half the time. I just hit reply, sounds good. <laughs> Don't write back, ever. Email is so easy, though. It's everyone I have to write an email to a really smart person. I get all tense. I'm like, great. Now I have to be sure this is a complete sentence. Guess I'll capitalize a letter or two. That's a symptom of being lazy when you can't quite reach the shift key. <laughs> I get the idea. Thank God for spell check, huh? Spell check saves me constantly. I get such an attitude with spell check, though. I'm like, no! It's a person's name, spell check! <laughs> you are so dumb, spell check! I was right, you were wrong. Oh, that is how you spell Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks, spell check. He was talking to spell check. That's right, spell check. I am a horrible speller. You know you're a poor speller when you're writing something and you have to change what you're writing about based on the words you know how to spell? <laughs> hmm, no one's here, I'll leave a note. Guess I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow, next week. <laughs> uh, I gotta get spell check for this pen. <laughs> this guy's weird. We're all a little weird, but you know, we like to think there's someone weirder. You know? I'm sure some of you are looking at me going, well, at least I'm not as weird as Gaffigan. And then I'm thinking, well, at least I'm not as weird as those people in the loony bin. And the people in the loony bin are going, well, at least I'm an orange. <laughs> hey, I like oranges. There's so many weird situations in life anyway. You ever mix two different groups of friends? That can be stressful. You always feel like you have to prep them. You're like, hey, yeah, um, uh, uh, these people over here, uh, they, they don't think I drink. And don't be thrown by my British accent. <laughs> Go along with it. I love when I'm in big cities like Chicago and I see a policeman on a horse. For a second, I'm always like, did Canada invade? <laughs> would, you, would you come from a time machine? You ever see the policeman on the horse? They always have that look like, why is everyone looking at me? Just on a two-ton animal in the middle of a highway. It's a big deal. You think that horse ever comes in handy? There's some robbery. You know, Cop, I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh, is that a pony? Huh, I love pony. Can I pet your pony? The policeman on the horse. They probably rarely go undercover, huh? Can't really see them infiltrating the mafia. Hey, it's Finny the horse. Finny the horse. Why are you always on a horse? That was the worst Italian-American impression I've ever heard. Hey, it ain't brain surgery. I love how we measure the difficulty of everything versus brain surgery. Hey, it ain't brain surgery. It ain't brain surgery. What do brain surgeons say? Like, hey, it ain't like we're trying to talk to women. <laughs> hey, I'm a brain surgeon, buddy. I didn't appreciate that. Hi. I'm Jim Gaffigan, and I wanted to just thank you for watching that video. It just makes me giddy. I mean, not giddy, but makes me happy. And frankly, I don't have much more time on this planet. And I was, I guess if there's anything else I'd want, it would be if you would subscribe, but you don't have to do it. I know you're busy, you know, you're cool. You've got other videos to watch, but if you hit subscribe, I don't know, maybe I'll have the willpower to pull it out. That sounded dirty.